Well, 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 my friends, what I've been saying now for years all along turned out to be true. Batteries in electric cars last much longer than the media has been saying. And I'm not just talking about the media here. We're talking about EV detractors. People who want to say you need to replace your battery in your EV after a few years of driving, which is completely false. It turns out, in fact, it's more false than even the most hardcore EV fans realized. I mean, as an electric car fan, you probably want as well. I'm sure you've told people, no, 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 EV batteries last a lot longer. You're going to have to replace your battery after a few years. But I don't think we realized just how true that actually was. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to have you with us. You know, I want to say a big thank you to our YouTube subscribers. I do now have my video up. It's taken me a bit of time. It's, in fact, my most difficult video that I've done because of the amount of time I put into it. It talks about what I do. Um, what I recommend for health, how I believe. I, th I actually think I have the perfect strategy here, guys. And if you can follow through on this, it will drastically make you feel much, much better, give you more energy. Anyhow, I'll put a link in the description to that video. That is on our YouTube member section. Now, electric vehicle batteries are much better than what they used to be. And they're getting better every year. I mean, to be honest, if you bought an electric car today with, you know, an, a good electric car brand, then your battery pack is going to last you for a long, much longer than an equivalent internal combustion engine car. We know that. There's data on that. There's actual data on that. In fact, even older electric cars last longer than internal combustion engine cars. And older electric cars that didn't have great battery management systems, they did have issues with the batteries from time to time. All of that is pretty much gone now. When we see tested under laboratory conditions, you would assume, right, I've done a lot of videos talking about tested under laboratory conditions, batteries will last for a million kilometers, etc. You would think the real world would cause more problems. That's the perception we have, right? I'll do a video and I'll say, well, the real the lab, the laboratory tests are, are saying that these batteries will last for X amount of time. Therefore, in the real world, it'll probably be less. However, that's not actually true. In fact, I did a video recently, and I know some of you missed it, so I wanted to point it out again. Experts from Stanford University have found the opposite, in fact, is the case. Electric vehicle batteries, in fact, last longer in the real world than they do in actual, you know, in laboratory testing. Researchers found, well, the way that we stop and start and the way we drive in a variable way, it's different to laboratory conditions. In fact, in the laboratory, they actually test batteries in a more extreme way. They'll often charge them all the way up and all the way down to zero. We don't see that, but that's often what they do. So the testing in laboratories is actually much, kind of much harsher on batteries. Now, the other problem with laboratory testing, in the lab, they don't have time to test the battery until it dies. They don't. I mean, what are you going to do, sit around for 10 years? Oh, guys, we've been working on this battery. It's great. Took us a year to make it, but we've got to wait 10 years now to test it. So you can see what I mean. They don't really, they're not really capable of sitting around for years and years and years to see if the battery is going to last a long time. Therefore, they'll say, yeah, 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 we know it's going to last 300,000 kilometers plus. We don't know how long though. Turns out in the real world, we know that EV batteries, we particularly know this from Tesla batteries, by the way, because there's a lot more Teslas on the road, but we know that EV batteries last for a very long time. Now, giving you some anecdotal evidence here, China, you're wondering why so many taxi drivers buy electric cars with lithium ion phosphate batteries in China? Because they're driving so many miles. You're looking at 600,000 plus miles for a lot of these cars. And they know, one, having an EV is going to save you money. But two, having an EV with a battery that's going to last you for a million, potentially a million miles, is going to save you from buying another car, from buying another two cars. So I actually think, guys, Look at this data from Stanford. I mean, Stanford have backed all this information up and we've just seen some numbers from the UK. They've looked at cars, looked at comparing EVs and internal combustion engine cars. They're saying that EVs now last longer, but that's even including really old EVs like the Nissan Leaf, which would have battery issues, battery degradation issues. Looking at modern batteries now, we know, right, that actually in the real world, batteries are performing significantly better than in laboratory testing. In the lab, researchers actually subject the battery to rapidly repeated charge and discharge cycles to speed up the development process, right? To speed it up, they basically fast charge them constantly. Bang, 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 bang. People in the real world don't do that, guys. I've almost never DC fast charged my battery in my electric car, like probably once every three or four months. 
that's normal, right? Most people do what I'm doing right now. I've got my car just sitting on solar charging and it's a slow charge. That's good for the battery. Now in the lab, power is discharged at a constant rate, but observing the gradual drop in capacity gives us the degradation levels over time. This is how we get estimates such as 80, retains 80% 80 capacity in 10 years time. So they're fast forwarding battery life by completely DC charging them really, really fast, discharging them really, really fast to say, yeah, yeah, we know they're gonna last for this long. Um, you should be fine. But in the real world, obviously people treat their batteries much more nicely. They're not constantly blowing them up with super fast charging and discharging them really, really fast. And what that means is we know now that actually uh, real world use means batteries last longer. Now the researchers at Stanford, they actually tested 92 commercial lithium ion batteries for more than two years across different profiles. And the results showed batteries tested using real life scenarios degraded substantially slower than expected and had higher battery expect expectancy than those tested under laboratory conditions. Even better, the more realistic the battery use, the slower the batteries actually degraded. So battery researchers have long assumed rapid acceleration is bad for battery life. Like when you drive really fast in your car, for example, this isn't actually the case. Short acceleration and regen braking, where EVs charge their batteries during braking, are associated with slower battery degradation rates. What that means is, yeah, you wanna be using your regen in your EV. If you don't have any regen in your EV, it's, well, it appears from this testing, your batteries won't last as long. If you don't use regen braking in your EV, your batteries won't last as long. Now, the great thing is regen braking is awesome because it recharges your battery while you're driving and you don't have to pay for new brake pads or new brake rotors. Guys, I just had a look at my receipts um, a few days ago. I was looking through my receipts. I'm like, anyway, doing my taxes. I looked at some of the receipts from replacing my brake pads and, and the road brake rotors. It was like thousands of dollars. <laughs> I mean, it's not cheap. Yeah, I know there's some backyard dudes who do it themselves, but let's be honest, 99% of us won't do that. Anyhow, you can avoid that altogether. A lot of EVs, right? I've seen a lot of Teslas being sold and after 200,000 plus kilometers, 200,000, even you know, 150,000 plus miles, they've never replaced their brake pads and they still don't need to. Big advantage using Regen. Your battery is gonna last longer in terms of overall life expectancy. You're gonna be able to recharge your battery while you're driving and you're not using your brake pads or your brake rotors, wearing them out. So that's another huge advantage of EVs. Now, a number of other recent studies have looked at how batteries perform in practice using data from EVs in operation, including commercial vehicles. And these studies says the driven found correlations between real world use and lower battery degradation rates. A 2024 report by Geotab researchers used telematic remote monitoring to get data from 10,000 EVs. The study found improved battery technologies leading to slower battery degradation. Newer EVs lose about 1.8% of their health per year, a sharp drop compared to the 2.3% de degradation rate in 2019. In other words, degradation rates are now slower than ever before. The newer your EV is, the more likely battery degradation will happen at a slower rate. However, the other good point is here, I've seen many people report that battery degradation happens for a few years and then will often just completely stop. A lot of people have pointed this out. So that's research that I think is gonna be exposed in the near future, showing that battery degradation, it does happen for a few years at the start, but then it seems to slow down to the point where it's almost unnoticeable. Several factors influence battery longevity other than use patterns though. One of these is worth pointing out. Frequent use of DC fast chargers by high use vehicles is linked to faster battery degradation. But that said, um, the effect isn't actually that noticeable. In a study by Recurrent in the United States, where they looked at 13,000 EVs, they found that people who DC fast charged on a daily basis had only a tiny bit more battery degradation than those who didn't. It was a very limited, very small difference. But in hot climates, the effect is, well, it's increased. The effect is more notable. And in warm climates, level two or slower battery charging is better for battery lifespan. Overall, the researchers found the best way to prolong battery life was to keep charge between 20 to 80% and reduce exposure to extreme temperatures and limit fast charging. But other studies like the one that Recurrent did found that people who charged their batteries to 100% and often, as in daily, well, it didn't seem to affect the batteries anywhere near as much as what we expected to. In fact, battery degradation was only a couple of percent worse 
than in EVs where people didn't do that. Another 2024 report analyzed the batteries of 7,000 EVs used intensively over three to five years, and it found lower battery degradation than expected. The report found most batteries still had good capacity, in fact, more than 80%, even after those electric cars had driven more than 200,000 kilometers or more than 120,000 miles, they still had more than 80% of their original battery capacity left. So what, why is this happening? Well, for one, advances in cell chemistry and battery management systems is massively improving batteries. And they're actually getting better every single year. Now, these results really do show one key thing here. If you buy an electric car, not only will you save money by being able to charge it at home, whether that's on cheap charging cycle rates during the nighttime, or whether it's using your solar, or whether you know, you're going to save money from other things like brake pads and, and disc rotors. Uh, but there's one other key issue here. An electric car Based on these numbers we're seeing, if you were to buy an electric car today, it will last for approximately twice as long as an internal combustion engine vehicle. And it could last even longer than that. You know, I drive around every day and I see so many people in these new gas-powered cars, new diesel-powered cars, and I think to myself, did these people really think this through before they bought that vehicle? 